You are in for a real treat. This episode was originally recorded for my other podcast, but for you, it's been upgraded and transformed, and now you have the Ask the Pro show. So everything mentioned in this episode will now be found on chrisdufay.com, plus so much more, as I've designed the Ask the Pro podcast and chrisdufay.com to give you exactly what you need to grow your business success and for you to have the money, the freedom, and the happiness you want. Want, making a bigger and better impact to the world unselfishly. So now it's time to delve straight into this episode and I want you to lap up and enjoy every single second of it. Welcome to the Turning Pro Academy. I'm your host and your coach, Chris Dufay, and I'm very thankful for you being here and I'm amped to get into this with you. This is a mind bender of an episode that I've wanted to do for some time, and I'm bringing back on John Logan, which has graced us before with his brilliance. And today's episode is all about high ticket items and how you are seriously underdoing yourself and your client by not stepping up. How can you have 15 clients at a time paying you $300,000 each? Or what about running fitness retreats at $30,000 per person? These are real life examples we're going to be showcasing. I myself run retreats here in Bali know how great it can be and have my business clients doing the same. So John and I are going to deliver into this for you with so much more. This is an episode you are not going to want to miss. We're delving into things such as retreats and high-end coaching, experiences packages, transformation programs, high-end group coaching, and what the usual failures come from and what it is you need to be doing to come away from today to make sure that you get there. What you get from today's episode, I know, will have you more confident and in charge taking the right action. So strap yourself in because this is chock full of greatness. And as a thanks for plugging me in between your ears and for you joining the Turn Pro Academy team, I want you to pay the love for it. Introduce one person into getting subscribed right now into tuning into this podcast and put a smile on my dials. I'm going to throw you a virtual high five and even shout you out to the hundreds of thousands as the best compliment you can give me is leaving an iTunes review right now on your phone. If you're doing some cardio, if you're cooking, if you're shopping, if you're driving, pull on over because it's unsafe, but leave an iTunes review is what I want from you. If you're loving it, then a five-star review is what I want but give me your honest feedback. And a question for you is on the side note, are you wanting to burn fat, build and transform your body then? You're going to need to get on over to the Fit Body Pro podcast at fitbodypro.com. This is my other podcast where I've been gluttonous. I'm having two, but this is where I'm giving away the advanced proven strategies, plans and advice to shaping the body you want and being able to do it the right way, but I know you've come here for the business success insights, and that means you have to get on over to turningproacademy.com so you can get the show notes and links from this episode and every other episode, and as a special thing, you get the free workshops that I'm giving away right now, the insights that are coming from the Six Figure PT program that you can use yourself. If you're wanting to build an online personal training business to sell products and supplements or to grow your in-person personal training business or gym, you can double your income and do it the right way and double your time off. Use the exact steps I'm giving away at turningproacademy.com. But now it's time to get into this episode with John. One of the most handsome men in the world, but also an absolute brilliant at the business world. John, I'm so happy for you to be here with me, mate, on the Turning Pro Academy podcast. You've been here before, and I had to bring you back on because today's topic, I know you just in that absolute wizard app. So, firstly, mate, thank you so much for taking the time for myself and the listener. Thanks, Chris. Uh, glad to be back here. And you're talking about one of my favorite topics, and that's selling stuff at very high prices. Excellent. Okay, you know what? There's a lot of, because just before I hit record, we're covering a lot of things that we can talk about today, and there is an absolute abundance. Maybe even before we get into the nitty gritty, really showing the listener what they can be doing. I first 
and I think maybe we both might believe this, when we start talking about selling high-ticket items, like really pushing the realms, and this isn't being sleazy, like this is about delivering high-quality value and earning what you get back with it. Let's push the belief of the listener right now. Let's, I want you to showcase what's possible, what people are doing out there, and then we can start reverse engineering to make that happen. How's that sound? Perfect. Um, to give you a couple of examples, I'll even go super high end. I and I won't. There's some. I won't name some names because yeah, give um, the names. That's all good. Some of these. Some of these people uh, obviously work in very very specific fields and uh, and have their proprietary uh, information. But uh, there is a person that specialises in helping emergency room doctors to de-stress from their emergency room day to day positions. They run a fifty thousand dollar for a week program for for these emergency room doctors and this. Weekly, this particular week program is to de-stress, desensitize, rehumanize, and I guess to help them to cope with some of the significant stresses that they have day to day in running an emergency theater. And so, um, so this program has been specifically designed for that niche. Now there are literally thousands of emergency room doctors. Uh, it is mainly designed for people who are actually in charge of those, of those units. And then, but they also run these programs for people who are working inside these units as well, not necessarily the, uh, the, the, the CEOs or the chiefs, but also the people who are in leading positions within those communities. So, you know, 50 grand is, is a big ask uh, for a lot of people to invest. Um, his programs are fully booked out. Uh, in fact, there's a six-month waiting list to get onto the programs. And so, and people are fully aware of, of him running these systems. The results have been quite ex- outstanding. So he specializes, I guess one of, the, one of the takeaways is that he has chosen a very specific niche to become an expert in, and he is catered or actually designed a program specifically for that market. So they completely relate to what he's teaching. They understand that he understands them because they're, that is the market that he plays in. So he's able to charge a premium because he's getting outstanding results and people are referring. In, in fact, he does no internet marketing, no um, Facebook advertising, no promotion. His entire business is built on every client that comes to him. Actually, will refer another five clients to him. Wow. So that's it's awesome. a purely referral-based um, marketing business. To take that one step further, I have a friend of mine in the US. She's in the fitness world, but she also works in the executive, uh, high, high level executive world. Um, her coaching programs start at $300,000. So, which is quite significant. And the only people that she works with, obviously CEOs of companies in the US and her speciality is, uh, de-stressing and transformation and cultural changes within organizations. So she will work at any one time. She's working with about 15 clients. So you can do the math. It's quite a good coaching business, 15 clients at 300 grand a pop. And, uh, and so she also holds very high ticket, high level events as well. So it is not uncommon for her to get a room of her the people that she's targeting, paying $25,000 each to spend four days with her going through transformations with like-minded people. So that's at the at the top end. There are others who do retreats where they were selling the retreats. Actually, we have a mutual friend who used to sell retreats at $5,000, now sells retreats at $30,000. No, not too much different in what she was selling at five grand, but she started to value and understand the transformation, the changes she was helping her clients with that enabled her to say, hey, it's worth this. And the funny thing was, the very first time that she offered that program, she actually got a sale. Nah. Like, yes, I'll take it. <laughs> and so I guess there's a, if there was one thing that I'd have for somebody to buy something from you that you haven't offered. So if you don't have a high ticket item to offer, it's going to be really difficult for somebody to buy that off you. If you do have a high ticket offer or high, t- high ticket priced item or value that you can propose or offer to people, then they can actually make that purchase. And, and I think one of the, the sticking points or the, the roadblocks a lot of people have is say, yeah, I'd love to sell things at higher prices. My question is, well, what have you got to sell at a higher price? And why aren't you offering it to people? You know? That's absolutely brilliant. And I think this ties in a lot of beliefs that I have as well. And especially when you start looking at, say, Pareto's Law, the 80-20 principle, even heard James Trampo, he kind of like mentioned him saying like the, the 10 10 rule where it's like 10% of your clients are going to be able to do 10% more than 10% of those clients are going to be able to do doing 10 times more of what that is, and it kind of keeps going up. And you said an absolute brilliance 
of you've got to have that actual package there in the first place. Yeah, can't buy it if you don't offer it. You know, when somebody says to me, oh, I wish my clients were paying higher prices, and my question is, well, why aren't you charging more? You know, why? You know, the, there's two things that you can do. One of the things when I work with people, I straight away sit there and say, hey, if you go and sell what you sell right now, but double the price. So don't change anything. Don't add any value. Don't, don't, you know, sell what you've got right now, but sell it for twice as much than what you sell it for at the moment. And if that's difficult for you, then the other way to do it in terms of raising people's pricing value expectation from you is whatever price you put on something immediately increase it by 20%. And then the next time you sell the same thing, immediately increase that again by 20%. And before you know it, you've got a hundred percent increase in your prices because by the fifth or sixth time, you're going to hit a ceiling of where the market is willing to pay. Now, now, any, and a 50% or 100% increase in revenue, that's a, that's not a 50% increase in costs. Yes. That's your bottom line net profit that you put in your back pocket. So you haven't incurred any more. All you're doing is you're increasing your prices because you're valuing what you do at a higher price. Now, that's not to say that we should all go out the window, out the door today and go double our prices. You also need to take into consideration how you're going to present that to somebody as well. But, you know, first off, and I would, I would, anybody listening to this podcast, I would highly encourage you, next presentation you do, just double your price and see what happens. <laughs> I think it's an absolutely awesome idea, especially because so many people, like this really just boils down and why I think I wanted to really start with showing what's possible is to stretch the belief of the listener right now because right now I know there's going to be a lot of people listening to myself and you, John, going, well, I, I just don't believe I can sell a $300,000 package. Do you know what I mean? And it's self-belief at the end of the day. So I'd love to know what your thoughts are, John, on what are the fundamentals? What do we start putting in place to actually be able to then go on to do this? What you want to do is you you want to the first thing you have to value yourself first. You know, if you there's no way in the world that you can go out there and sell yourself at a higher price if you don't value what you do at a higher level for yourself first. So the first person you've got to sell to is you. And so if you're the first thing that I look at is what is the problem? What is what is the thing that you solve? What is something that you're super great at that you can actually solve that problem with? How quickly can you solve the problem? Have you solved the problem for somebody in the past? Have you tried the methodology to get the results? So that's the first thing is what are, what is the smelliest ugliest problem that you can solve that the people that you speak to that you can that you can help them with that's that's the first the second part of that is is okay now that we understand what the problem is how are we going to fix it? What are we going to do? What is the process? How? What is the, you know, is it going to be a six-week program? Is it going to be a three-month program? Um, is it a year-long coaching program? What are we going to, what is the process that we go through to help them through that problem that they so desire to have solved for them? So we need to create a solution. We can break that solution up into either physical products or we can have time or we can have face-to-face -face, or we can choose locations. There's a whole host of things that you can build into that to build the value of that particular program. The, the person I mentioned that was selling $300,000 coaching programs, part of her whole program is to create very unique experiences for her clients. So she completely takes them right out of their comfort zone, takes them to places that they never thought they'd ever go in their lives, do things that they never thought were possible for themselves purely just to help them and able to make themselves feel alive, right? So that to, that is an extraordinary experience. So when people actually sit down and look at how she coaches and what she does, and, and what she's sharing with people, they're saying, that's the dream. That's what I want. That's what I've always wanted to do. I wanted to experience that feeling of, you know, level of belief and being alive. I wanted to experience that, you know, those results or those feelings and those emotions. And the word here, experience, the experience is the valuable part of that process. So in our solution, we want to create an experience. And in, if, you know, if we're a fitness trainer, a personal trainer, or we're a nutritionist, or we're somebody who's a business coach or a mindset coach, even if we're doing technical things, you want to look for what is the transformation. You're helping people to get from where they are right now, stuck in the ugly, smelly problem that they've got, and you're going to help them to, you know, smell some roses at the other end. Right. So that's the trading out solution is, is the next step. Then you want to get out to the market, you know. But the thing is, is you've also got to believe in the results and the other, that, then from then on, now you want to pitch it. So you want to share it with a few people. So you can say, hey, I'm doing something incredibly unique. I'm not sharing this with everybody. I'm only looking for people who are really serious about the transformation or what they're going to experience. Here's my idea. 
And the way you validate that is offer it to people. Now, you don't have to offer it at the full price. You can. You may say, hey, this is the first time we're taking people through this program and we're willing to do it at cost, at our cost, purely to gain some recognition, reputation, some social proof that the system that we've got is actually working and helping the transformation. I've actually gone on some of these programs myself where I've traveled overseas to experience a transformational or a special coaching uh, and training program. And instead of paying the $25,000 asking price, I paid twelve. Right, but because I got it at a lesser price, uh, as part of the deal was that they could share my transformation or they could share my case study with people you know, down the track. So people who are just starting out, this may be a way f- to start out: is to look at the costs, look at what you're going to put into this process, put a price tag on it, and make an offer. Provide an incentive for people to take advantage of it. So you want to validate your idea. A validation is somebody saying, "Hey, yes, I'm in. Here's my money. Here's my credit card. Let's go." Right? Can't buy it if you don't offer it. Right? So you want to validate as quickly as possible. Also, you want to offer an extended premium option. So here's how you upsell. Right? So you can say, "Hey, we can do the standard, or we can go the extra mile." And a lot of people, surprisingly enough. 40 to 60% of people will take the VIP option because they feel like they're getting more value, a little, that little extra value at the VIP option. And like I said, I travel around the world. I attend a lot of exclusive events and I'm pretty picky about the events that I go to. And it's really funny. I will buy the ticket, but then I'll always buy the VIP ticket because the VIP ticket gives me greater access, more value, more time with people that I want to meet. So I'm paying, even though I might have paid $1,000 for the original ticket, I've gone and paid an extra $2,000 just so I can sit at the table with somebody. And, and it's really funny that in that room, uh, I remember one conference that I was flying to, I went to LA, there was 500 people in the, in the room and a hundred people paid the extra two grand. So there were, there was a hundred people. So it was an extra $200,000 in sales from just offering people the opportunity of spending an extra day with the, with the speakers of the event. We're going to take a quick break and we'll be back in a split with so much more for you. Now, I know you're listening and tuning in because you know how important your health is and how this can also catapult your business. This is why I'm very happy to say that this podcast is sponsored by My Body Blends and my favorite, the Superfood Elixir, the powerful greens drink. Now, this is designed especially to boost energy, aids detoxification, enhances the ability to burn fat, supports healthy carbohydrate metabolism, and best of all, is voted best tasting green drink. Now, myself and the My Body Blends team are looking for ambassadors to join. So you and your clients get the health benefits plus adding in a strong income stream for you and your business. The ambassador program, which is by application only, means you get exclusive access to sell My Body Blends products like Superfood Elixir to your clients, plus giving you the special ambassador pricing and bonuses. So once you become an ambassador, you can join the other top health and fitness players that are adding thousands to their week's income. Now, there is only a limited number of ambassadors we are taking on board as this is a tribe leading the way together. So to apply and to join, go to mybodyblend.com forward slash ambassador or add the checkout code that is turning pro all one word when you're going to get your own superfood elixir to order plus you're going to get free shipping and a bonus to save yourself over $250 instantly so just use that coupon code turning pro in the checkout and you can save over 250 right now all on mybodyblends.com Can I just jump in there, John, and let's just use that as an example. Do you think what the owners of that event should have done was then had an extra tier to upsell and say, this is only available for, say, for 10 people, and that extra tier would be a 10 grand on top? Do you know what I mean? Like, if 100 people have gone that extra mile, chances are 10% of those 100 people, 10 people, are going to go an even extra further. Well, here's the thing. With that particular event, they, they in the private VIP where you pay an extra two grand, what you paid an extra two grand for was to be pitched to a $30,000 coaching program. So, <laughs> so they paid the extra two grand qualifying themselves yeah. to be considered, uh, get this, the positioning of this, not automatically if you got 30 grand, you can go and buy this program. No, no, you had to apply to go process. So then, you know, out of that group, I think they probably got another 20 or 30 people buying a $30,000 right, program. Right. I see that. 
Beautiful. So that, that was the that was the reason why they got so, tried to get so many people in that particular room. However, the pre qualification was these people could afford it. You know, they spent you know they spent a grand on the ticket, but they're they're willing to pay two thousand dollars for an extra day, right? So a thousand dollars for a five day event, and an extra two grand for one day event, right? And then from there, it's like, are you know, are these the right people who are willing to take it to the next level with the people that were um, organizing this particular event? So so that's just an example of up you know what you just said earlier on the ten percent, ten percent, ten percent. You know, there's a whole group of people that bought in the first round, and another group of people, in fact, in their case, it was 20% of people bought the second round ticket. And then again, probably about 15% of the people bought the third round for, for 30 grand coaching. So, you know, it works out to those numbers 10, 10, 10. So, um, so that's a perfect example of that. So, when you're offering, you know, the fastest way to, to, to see the success of your offer is to go and validate it by actually putting it out there and saying, hey, would you like to buy it? I mean, you only need, you might start with a handful of people. There's nothing stopping you also. It doesn't have to be individual coaching. You can sell high ticket for group coaching. I recently attended an event where it was 25 grand for 50 of us to sit in a room for two days. Right. And we you know, literally ripped our businesses apart. And, uh, but we got to do that with probably some of the most, you know, incredible leading business people on the planet where we got to spend time, you know, asking questions and getting feedback on our ideas and strategies and tactics. Now that was, you know, what's that 50 times 25? That's, uh, that's a million dollars. Yeah. Yeah. Let, let me ask you this though, John. Yeah. What do you think your return on investment was from doing that? Um, I would say, well, already, uh, I, I've got my money back already. Off, yeah. off that, that event only happened about a month ago. However, yeah. what I know is going to come out of the event is out of that event is probably going to be probably about another half a million to close to a million dollars worth of revenue. Exactly right. And I think that's just something I wanted to add because I knew you would be straight bang on the money with that one is so many people just don't think about what the actual return on investment is, especially when it comes to say, business coaching or getting a mentor or, or any sort of thing, they're not really thinking about what the return on investment is. I think that's a big factor of what you were saying before. It's obviously when you start putting that program together that's going to be that next tier up, you really have to showcase what's that transformation like? What are the actual benefits of the person doing that? And the great thing you've mentioned a few times is an experience. Like they're not coming on board. Like say for a personal trainer, they're not paying for your time. They don't care if they're paying for your time. They're clearly getting a transformation out of you and you're getting them certainty to get there as well. The other thing is you want to bring an element of fun to this thing. If I look at all the high-ticket events that I've gone to, all of them incorporate a lot of play, not so much the serious, you know, business stuff. I mean, you know, the, the high-ticket event that I went to, you know, we went out driving Lamborghinis on a racetrack, you know. <laughs> And, but in the middle of waiting for your turn to drive, you're having conversations with people and uh, reliving some of the things that you'd learnt on the day before. And, you know, so it was, it was creating that multi-sensory experience to infuse some of that opportunity. So if you, if you are creating high ticket programs or high ticket events, take it in consideration that you want to create a lot of, you want to put a lot of fun in there as well. You know, people, you know, they're taking their time out to come and spend time with you. They're taking their time out of their day to day humdrum. They want something that's going to blow them away. They want, they want to talk about something. They want to, you know, like we said, you know, taking that experience, you know, that, that weekend, everybody remembers the Lamborghini. You know, it's everybody remembers Lamb- Lamborghini Day, right? So, so you know, because it's not something that people would do every single day of the week, right? And so, um, that's the thing is, if you're putting this together, the more elements of surprise and fun and excitement you can build into it. I mean, I was talking to a friend of mine who attended a high ticket event for this person that I was talking about that does the three hundred thousand dollar coaching. Um, they they were in a particular location, and one of the things that they did is, if, I I think there were like a hundred people at the event and they were, they decided to play paintball with Nerf guns. And so <laughs> here you've got men and women highly competitive going absolutely balls crazy in a conference area trying to shoot each other up with Nerf balls. Right. Um, but and it's really weird that everybody talk, you know, like I'd spoken to a few people that actually attended that event. Every single person mentioned the silly Nerf ball, uh, war games that they had, you know. So it doesn't have to be an extravagant experience. It's just got to be something fun and unique because in that learning, if you're, if you're bringing the fun part of that into the learning experience, 
people will get so much more out of events and it's a great way to have people talking about what the experience is like and what they're doing as well. So you want to incorporate, you know, if you're going to do high ticket, you want to bring in high perception of value as well. So it doesn't have to be super high value, but that perception of value, very, very important when you present that to people. That's something you did. Okay, brilliant. I was actually wrote that down. I want to bring up the whole perception of value. How do we start engineering that perception? Well, you've got to think that you, you know, you're going to think what you've got is less than what most people would actually think. Now, the, the problem is ourselves. We go to this mindset thing first. So what you think is, you know, mediocre, you know, 80% of your perfect is somebody else's 100% of perfect, right? So you've got to think, okay, what is the core thing that I want to achieve? You know, the people are going to get out of this. That's the core thing. And then so you make sure that whatever you build builds in, builds upon that core. But then from there, you're going to say, okay, great. What can we stack on? that supports that core thing. So it doesn't have to be monetary. It could be the fact that instead of, you know, doing all your exercise sessions inside, you're going to do it on the beach in an exotic location, right? You know, simple things like that. Or instead of, you know, meals being presented to you, you're going to go and cook your own meals, you know, but you're going to do them with a chef at the resort or something like that. So the idea is to create a stack of value around the core uh, value that you're trying to teach, right? So it's it's like leveling, lay, creating layers. And the more layers you create, the more flavors, the more experience you create create for the person who's participating in the program. So if let's ca- let's go right simple. So I'm not going to go into a high end location based uh, type program. Let's say you know you're in your city and you want to sell a high level coaching program. And let's say you're selling it. You know normally people are selling it for like you know they do these boot camps like eighteen hundred dollars, right? So instead of doing an eighteen hundred dollar boot camp, let's say you do a seven thousand dollar transformation experience, right? And so you you may do or select different locations for the way that you share. You may do, you know, instead of doing them, you know, I, it's really funny. I had uh, a friend of mine who did an exercise class with the permission on the Eiffel Tower. <laughs> <laughs> Took a whole group of people. Uh, they did a week, uh, a week uh, in in France as part of their experience. But every day was exercising in a different location. Like one day they did it on the Champs Elysees. The next day it was in front of the Louvre. The next day, so they were doing all these. You know, it wasn't costing them any extra to go to to these specific locations. They were just using the environment as an experience for people doing these doing this program. So it's you know, can you imagine the Instagram and the Facebook photos yeah. that came out, out of that experience? So even in your city, you might say, hey, you know, it's really funny. I've got a friend of mine that does these high level, uh, like these, um, you know, the race around the world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So she does race around the world in a city, right? And so they'll spend, you know, a day doing different things in the same city, in different locations. And whilst they're doing those things, they're teaching them management skills or business skills. So each location was assigned a particular skill set that they were going to learn. So just you don't need to go and do this in expensive locations. You can do them in the city you're in. It's just find unique ways of presenting what you are teaching people and have them involved in that process. So you can create layers of a program in your own town and sell uh, not a boot camp, but a transformational uh, transformation sessions or whatever you want to call it, change the name so you even give it a special name um, in your own town. And you can create different layers of experience at each interaction that you have with your clients. So now instead of selling an $1,800 boot camp, you're selling a $7,000 experience. Okay, this is absolutely brilliant. And you're just dropping knowledge bombs like crazy, John. Now, before we wrap this up, and there's really something I'd love just for you to kind of unveil and obviously what are the usual stumbling blocks that you are finding the people that you're working with come across when implementing and wanting to start this? I think the biggest thing that comes unstuck is they get caught up on how much am I going to, how much are people going to pay for this thing or how much are people going to be willing to pay for this thing? And it, this goes back to personal mindset. So if you and said, so if you put everything aside for a second, this is way, the way to overcome this. Let's say you were going to buy your own program, right? And so what would you like to see as an experience for yourself in the program or the coaching that you're trying to put together? What are some of the things that you'd like to get results out of? What are some of the things that you'd like to experience through the process? And then if you were going to put incorporate some fun elements or some enjoyable elements into that process what is it that you what would what would those little elements be so create the product or the program first don't go thinking will somebody buy it won't they buy it i think the biggest stumbling block is just starting right so just brainstorm you know talk you know sit down with a bunch of friends say hey i'm looking at creating something really unique it's really funny i had somebody who did that exercise sat down with a few friends and said hey i'm going to create uh, you know what i perceive to be the ultimate program and three of the people they brainstormed with bought the program. 
right? <laughs> so, because they were part of a whole, you know, group, geez, that'd be really cool, or geez, that'd be so much fun. Or So as part of that, that creative process of creating this thing, remembering that what is the core, the core result that people are looking for? What is the big frustration that people have? Think about the person, the, the people that you're serving first. That is the, that, that's who's going to buy this, right? So who's going to buy it? Who's going to want to make those transformational changes? Who wants a unique experience? Most people want a unique experience, but they've just got to be shown that experience. So to overcome that challenge, have a play. Play with your creative idea. Put something together and then put it out there. Just share it. It doesn't have to be a formal type thing. You just want to say, hey, I'm thinking of putting this together. I'm thinking of this particular price point. What do you think? You know, it's really funny. I've had people do that and people have said to them, you know what? I know somebody who'd buy that. I know somebody who, you know, I know somebody you need to show that to. Right. So it's, so I think the first thing to overcome in this step is, is just creating something that you, that is unique. And remember I said at the very beginning of our conversation, the biggest failure that most people have in selling a high ticket item is they don't have a high ticket item to offer. <laughs> It's pretty hard for somebody to buy something from you if you haven't got it to offer them. So create the offer. What would be something high ticket? And it doesn't have to, you know, if you want to stretch, if you want to stretch, you might want to level up. So if you're selling a $500 or $600 uh, training program, go and sell an $1,800 training program. You know, what would that be? Uh, if you're already selling an $1,800 program, go and sell a $6,000 program. What would you incorporate? What would you add to that? If you're selling a $6,000 program, go and sell a $20,000 program. Because it's really funny. The one thing that I've learned, it takes you as much time to sell a $600 program as it does to sell a $25,000 program. Yeah. yeah. So, hey, you know so, what's funny? What I found as well, sometimes it's even less. Yeah, it's pretty, <laughs> I'll go, oh wow, that's awesome. I want that, you know? And so I think, I think the first step is have fun with this process. Don't take it so seriously like, oh, I've got to create this amazing, awesome, big thing. Let it flow by just creating, you know, adding your own experiences and perhaps even the ideas of other people's experiences and create something from there. And then, you know, look at the market, look at who you're solving this problem for, because that that's the person you want to take into consideration first, right? You know, a lot of people spend more time worrying about themselves than really thinking about who they're actually serving. And all these things that I've been talking about, the things that stop people is, you know, self-belief. Well, the self-belief is, is about you, not about the customer. You know, if you believe you can't sell it, well, the customer's going to believe they can't buy it, right? Um, if, and the other thing is, is the, the other thing is don't, Place the expectation of what you think the customer will and won't pay for. I've had people that look like on their, that, that they're on their bones and their asses, you know, write a check for 20 grand, you know. Um, I, you know, it's not for you to judge what a person can or can't afford um, with a program. And if they see the value of the program, they will find the money. It's amazing how they'll go and find money for you, right? So it's really, it's really weird. It never, this never ceases to amaze me that if somebody really desperately wants something, they will find a way to get it, you know? So don't judge what people can and can't afford and what they will or what, what they won't pay for. There's enough examples out there in the world where people are selling amazing uh, experiences at very high ticket values and they are selling out their programs. And so that, that means that if that's what's happening out there, that there is a ready, able and buying market for those types of experiences. I mean, I remember years ago, I went, I did, uh, it was called a university of business. So what it was, was actually a business study tour. And it was a six week study tour. It cost me $58,000 to do this course, but it was like a week at McDonald's University in uh, America. It was a week at the Xerox uh, Sales Academy. It was a week with uh, Caterpillar's uh, university group. Each major corporation has an affiliation with major universities in America where they run their executives through those programs. And I got to spend six weeks looking at some of the best business models in the world and the relationships of the people that I had or that I met on that tour, I still have friends from that tour and that happened 15 years ago for me. Now, 58 grand 15 years ago was a lot of money, right? But you know, it, to me, it was worth every penny. So there are people that are selling these types of experiences all around us. And if you want to sell high-level coaching or high-level uh, personal training or high-level transformation or high-level coaching, look at the people who are already selling these products and programs. Look at what they're selling. Look at how they package it up. You know, all the evidence is sitting in front of you. You know, there's, it's really funny. I saw, uh, you could do, I just saw a thing and I can't remember the magazine. There's a Rob Report. Rob Report is a magazine for the stinky rich people of the world, right? Uh, it's, it's a magazine that you go and buy chocolate for a million dollars, right? If you want to stretch your thinking of, of what people will spend money on, go and get a copy of the Rob Report. <laughs> That's fantastic. 
Because you can go, you can buy, buy an island if you want. You can buy an aircraft, whatever you want. Anything crazy that's in that that is at a high level of of cost is in this magazine. Well, in this magazine, you can buy what they call the Monte Carlo experience. Monte Carlo experience is a the week of the Formula One in Monte Carlo, and you get to stay at the uh, Palais Royal Hotel. You get to uh, go go to some of the exclusive parties. You get to go and drive Ferraris. You go and get, you know it's a whole week that's created in this experience. And the week costs twenty five grand. Now it's I actually rang the company that runs the tour. They've only got three spots left. Wow. Now the Monte Carlo Grand Prix is not for another. This is for next year's season, so it's a year away, and they're already pre sold. Wow. So you know, think of the experience, or think of what people are doing. There's enough clues. There's enough things that show you how, what people are selling for high ticket items, uh, which you can work off as well. So you know, I, you know, to me, it's just start. And the number one thing is go and double. Prices today. Go and make an offer that people can't refuse. Yeah, this has been really good, John. And I think this is just action packed with really good takeaways that the listener is going to be able to use. Like, I want, as soon as this finishes, I want them absolutely, as you said, starting taking action and getting involved with this out before we let them loose and be able to take over the world. Because I know they're just going to be frothing at the mouth to learn more about yourself, John. Where do they go? Um, they can find me at consultingunleash.com or if you want a whole bunch of free ideas on this very topic, just go to the businessunleash.com podcast. Done. Now, I'm going to be linking to all of those bad boy resources in the show notes to make sure they can get straight across. John, I just love talking to you. Every time I chat with you, mate, I'm pumped up and you know what's even better? I'm going to see you in Bangkok in just over a month as well. This is brilliant. Yeah. Well, I mean, we, uh, you know, I think last time we saw each other was in Sydney earlier. It was. Yeah. And to fly off to Texas to my own event. So, uh, but, uh, yeah, absolutely looking forward to Thailand and, um, and thank you again for having me on the podcast, mate. Beautiful, John. Chat soon, my man. So now it's time for you to click on over to chrisdufay.com. That's chris, D-U-F-E-Y.com to get all the guides and show notes. And if you are wanting the workshops where I walk you through how to build your online business, click on over to chrisdufay.com forward slash start here. This is where I can give you the exact training guides and the workshops for exactly where you're at and the answers that you need. Now, every Friday, I'm coming back to you with a new episode. So, be sure to subscribe and if you haven't already you're going to be getting the world's best insights the advice and the answers to give you the business the money the freedom and the success and happiness that you want and I want to give you a huge muchas gracias for being here with me and as always get in touch with me via the site or via social as Ask the Pro is about me giving you the answers that you need so ask away 